A former Palm Beach Post reporter among those killed in that Maryland newsroom shoot. Today, our Tori Dunnan and photojournalist Amanda Crane brought Rob Hyacinth's former colleagues together to remember him. They gathered at Phipps Park, where he was known to toss a baseball around at times, and they say he was so much more than an outstanding journalist. Writers, journalists, tend to be competitive and aggressive and prickly. And you can drop the L Y really? off. And you can drop the L Y off that if you want. Uh, but he wasn't particularly competitive. He wanted to see the best in everybody's work. And he always I always got the feeling that he thought everybody else's best work was better than his. He was one of the finest, nicest, uh, most thoughtful. You know, it's all these cliches. That was Rob Hyacin. And these guys have been going on about that, and I know we all sound like we're just parrots, but um, uh, he was a gentle giant. He was self-effacing. He was unfailingly generous. Uh, he was shy about his own accomplishments and his own level of talent. You missed a lot by not knowing him. Yeah, and, and like, the, like I say, the fact that he was gunned down by a, by a freaking lunatic. But he never thought he was the Lord of the Jungle, ever, ever. He was always in awe of guys that he thought were bigger, stronger, louder writers. But and there were no bigger, stronger, louder writers at that newspaper. There really weren't. But he didn't know that. If somebody said, uh, you know, drive an hour up here to do an interview to say something nice about the Rob Heisen, that that's what you're going to do, even if you have to sit with Iman. So, you know, they say the light in all of this is you saw them sharing some laughs. And even though they're not together all the time, they worked, you know, in passing times at the Post. But they got together today. They remembered him and they keep up through social media. So they've been in contact with him and they know his story and where he's gone and everything. Mm -hmm. Dave Barry in the Herald today wrote movingly about this as well. And he said a lot of writers now, the newspaper industry under siege financially and otherwise. A lot of people, that paper, mm -hmm. perhaps working for low pay. Rob Hyacin commuted from Baltimore. They said, but whatever else you say, Dave Barry quoting him here, don't say they did not care and care deeply about yeah. their community. Right. Thank you for bringing us their story. Sure. Thanks. Beautiful.